Well, this is a horse chestnut tree and um, it's easy to tell because it has these beautiful leaves all sort of spread out like this. And um, traditionally the part that we use is the seed. Now you can see a little one growing here um, off the flower spike. It has white flowers in the spring. And of course, by the time you get to the winter, they're big brown conkers. Um, and it's the seed that's actually used in herbal medicine. Now we use extracts of that both for our cosmetics and also in the clinic in herbal medicine as well. We make a product called um, Venatone Cream and this is mainly horse chestnut. It helps by firming and toning the whole capillary structure under the skin. And by toning and firming the capillary structure, it reduces things like thread veins and spider veins, um, and also helps to generally tone the skin and smooth out the surface of it. In the clinics, um, it's used medicinally to help to treat things like varicose veins and piles. Um, and then it's used in a tincture and quite often taken internally under the supervision of a medical herbalist. The other thing about e-skin that they found is that it also helps to reduce things like oedema and swelling. So again, with our Venatone cream, it quite often helps to reduce any sort of swelling that's gathering around the knees or the ankles and generally provide a lot of relief. But it's a wonderful plant and, and a very beautiful one and extremely effective in our, in our leg cream. This is um, an oak tree and you can tell oak always by its very, very distinctive leaf pattern. And then of course in the winter you get acorns which the squirrels love. Um, you can eat the flour made from them but it um, has to be boiled a couple of times with the water thrown away because it's very high in tannins. Now tannins are what we use um, in herbal medicine and in the cosmetics because tannins have an action on the skin that's very um, toning and tightening. The, um, the tannins in this, for instance, in our leg cream, help to tone and tighten the skin. It's not much used in traditional medicine anymore. The, it's fallen out of favour a little bit. But in our Venatone cream, we use it for its tightening effect on the skin. Well, this is easily identified as a grapevine. Again, very distinctive leaves. And um, in this case, you can see that there's some tiny, tiny little grapes just starting to form. And um, nutritionally, all parts of the plant are used. Um, red grapes in particular have got very high levels of reservatrol and antioxidants that fight free radicals and help to protect us against the effects of aging. Um, that's why in France, they say that a glass of wine a day helps to um, keep you strong and healthy. Um, in the case of cosmetics, we quite often use the leaf because again, it's very high in tannins like the oak leaf and has this sort of shrinking and tightening effect on the skin. Um, I like to think also that the antioxidants in it also help to protect against aging. Below the vine here, also growing in the greenhouse because it normally likes a hot climate, we've got um, aloe vera growing and these are just baby plants that I've been propagating and aloe vera doesn't really need an introduction. Everybody knows it as a very soothing gel to treat burns. And that's because when you pluck a leaf, you can actually peel the, peel the leaves back and you'll see that inside is a very clear, um, obvious gel. Leaves are literally sort of filleted, almost like fish fillets, um, normally with a sharp knife and not your nails. And this gel is extracted and blended and um, you can see it's very gel-like and that, you know, just put straight onto a burn or something will um, provide a lot of soothing relief. Let's go outside and find the comfrey because that's also in it and comfrey is a really great plant. Hiding here between the, the fever few here and the curry plant is um, common comfrey, some Phytum officinale. And um, comfrey leaf is an amazing plant, really. It was called bone set in the olden days because of its ability to um, heal broken bones. 
And in fact, the Latin name confrey comes from confrera, which means to knit together. So it's particularly good as a poultice for broken bones, um, sprained tendons. When I was a child, my aunt used to, if we sprained an ankle or something, my aunt used to take the leaves off. Um, they grow quite a bit bigger than this and pound them up and then bandage them directly onto our ankle to help. Um, there's a lot of controversy about taking comfrey internally these days and a lot of people when they see it as an ingredient and in things get a little bit worried. And that's because comfrey contains alkaloids. Now, Symphytum officinal, which is the English comfrey, um, is actually a lot safer. Um, it doesn't contain the emetine used in Russian comfrey, which has the purple flowers. Um, but these days it tends to only be used externally. And it's a particularly good herb to use cosmetically because it contains allantoin, which helps with skin cell renewal and skin cell regeneration and to bind the whole connective tissue together. So um, the humble bone set here is um, one of the final ingredients in our Venatone leg cream and there because it really helps with all that connective tissue.